Hello guys and welcome to today's live. How is everybody doing? I'm assuming there's going to be that gormless pause at the start so we'll just wait for that to catch up and um, for everything to start. <laughs> in fact I've just looked in the monitor and it was particularly bad so I'm sorry about that. Um, let's just see where we are with everything. Let's see. Uh, So welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's start with some welcomes and saying hello to everyone. Um, I'm so sorry I'm a few minutes late because I'm not gonna lie, I overslept. I had a little nap beforehand and I might have overslept. So we'll just have to we'll just have to go with it. Um, let me just double check things on um let's see, just double check things aren't buffering, because it looks like it might be. So Bear with me and let me just double check that the internet connection's good enough. Um, how is everyone doing? I can see, oh, we are already so, so busy. So thank you so, so much for everyone that's joined. I'm just going to check the connection uh, on my phone just to make sure everything's all good. Which I can never do. Uh, da, da, da. Can you all see it, guys? Let's just double check. Can we see everything that's going on and it's not buffering for you guys? Because if it is, I'll um, restart everything. But let's start with some introductions. Say hi to everybody. Uh, let's see where we are. Now, we've got here, Jill, welcome, my love. Lovely to see you. So, so fantastic for you to join us. Thank you so, so much. Nina, Chris, amazing to see you. We nearly said happy Saturday there, but we are definitely on the Sunday vibes. So thank you all for joining us. I know it's been a little bit messy and we had to swap the date. So I do apologize for switching things over, but I hope it kind of all, you know, it'll all work out for you guys. <laughs> and it'd be good to know, do people prefer Saturday or Sunday? Do we like to mix it up? We've also mixed up the background because normally in these live streams my internet is so bad and I spend most of the time buffering which is not good but um, I thought I'd move downstairs and you can avoid all the cat toys in the background when you've got as many cats as I have everything is covered in cat toys so you'll just have to ignore that and go with it <laughs> William so lovely to see you Laura fantastic Marlene welcome 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 uh, Marlene says got a glass of white wine ready for some hydration I um, had the odd gin last night so I'm sticking to the tea today this is this is like a Lapsang Souchong, I think I pronounced that right, which is like a gunpowder tea. So I thought I'd try something a bit different. It's actually quite nice. A little bit smoky, but I like that, so that's all good. Hildy, welcome. Shelly, amazing to see you, my love. Um, we've got um, Patty. Hello, Patty. I know... Um, I know that you um, have family over, so I hope you're having an absolutely amazing time with all the family. Happy Mother's Day to anyone out there who is celebrating where it's Mother's Day. Here in the UK, we have a totally different Mother's Day, so I always forget to wish everyone Happy Mother's Day, because ours is in, like, March, so ours has been and gone. But I think in Australia and Canada, I think it might be. So anyone that is celebrating Mother's Day, I'm sending you lots and lots of love to all the mums out there. I can't believe how busy the room is already. It's... It's, I love to sit down and film these. I, it's been such, such a busy week um, this week. And it's so nice to just sit down, chill with you guys and talk all things skincare. I have left the door open, so we might see the odd cat come in. I know uh, my Marcel, my gorgeous Marcel cat, he appeared um, last week. So if we're lucky, we might see Marcel again this week. Um, <laughs> Marlene, I said I was say hello to Marlene. Thank you so much for joining Tom. Tom is very kindly moderating again this week. So much love to Tom. Thank you ever so much um, for moderating, keeping everyone in check and it's all good. I'm going to give a quick plug, just a very quick plug to um, the Facebook group um, because we've got some exciting stuff. We're working on some content over on um, the Facebook group. So if you're not al already a member over there, then I would say, why not? What's stopping you? And uh, The Facebook group is Mad About Skin. It kind of fits with the whole <laughs> name of the channel. I know Tom will be leaving links in um, the description in the chat. So if you haven't joined already, then be my guest. Um, oh, and we hit 40,000 subscribers, which is like mind blowing. I, 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 it seems literally like only a week ago that we hit 30,000 subscribers. So honestly, if you're one of the new subscribers, maybe you're new to our live stream, thank you so, so much for all your support. And you know what? 
We are a growing family, so if you haven't subscribed already, maybe you're tempted, click that subscribe button because honestly, you'd be very, very welcome. But thank you to every single one of the 40,000 people that subscribed to the channel. It's honestly, when we hit that, I, speechless was just about covered it. <laughs> and we've got lots of other people saying happy Mother's Day, which seems, I hope my mother's not watching this and expects an extra present. She got her present in May, in March. <laughs> if she's watching this and wants an extra present, she's going to wait another year. Um, Man Manuel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Nicola, it's so good to see you. Um, all the way from Paris. So sending lots of love to anyone over in Europe. Oh, I like this. She's, um, Nicola is having a picnic in the park with lots of SPF and sunglasses and sun hat. We don't have this problem here in the UK because I've actually put the light on because outside it is so dark. It is so rainy and it is so miserable. It's so bad. Even the chickens have gone in. They're like, mm, I'm over it, written it off and they've gone back in. So <laughs> it's not the nicest here in the UK, but we've had some nice sun. So hopefully that'll stay. Stacey, welcome, my love. And yes, it is wonderful to finally have you on a live stream. I know we switched it to Sunday. So I'm hoping that Sunday might actually work better for some people. And you know what? We'll see how it works. We might mix it up a little bit. I know we've kind of got used to our Saturday live streams, which I love, but I'm always open to mixing it up as well. So let me know which works for you guys. Sylvie, welcome, welcome. First time and you're spending uh, Mother's Day with us. So thank you so, so much for joining, my love. Sarah, wonderful to see you. Um, oh, and Aisha says, did everyone use the 40% off code for face theory? I placed an order and stocked up. This is, right. yeah, we could call this one out. This is a really, really good offer. Now, I do know from the stuff I've seen over on the Facebook group that I think this is, if you have never tried face, fit, face theory before, maybe you're totally new to the brand, I recommend you try them out. I love so many of their products. If you've never ordered from them before, you can get 40% off using the code NEW40, which I think you have to be a new subscriber, uh, a new Per, uh, purchase that I don't think it's for existing customers. I might be wrong. And you get 40% off everything. Um, my recommendation, if you do want to pop over there and try something, if I had to call out my favorites, it would be the Amal C Whip Moisturizer, which is divine. Oh, I love that so much. I also really like the Exoglow Serum. I love the Biolipid product that they do. Um, oh, that Azaclear A15 Serum is gorgeous. All of that is so, so good. So there's so many, so many good stuff that I would totally recommend from Face Theory. So Definitely check it out. And if you've never ordered from them before, use the code NEW40. You get 40% off. If you have ordered from them before and you want to stock up, um, they did give me a discount code, which is MADABOUTSKIN25, all capitals, and that gets you 25% off. It's not quite 40, but you know, still a good saving. So thanks for calling that, Naisha. And I hope you, you know, I hope you stock up and enjoy on everything. And let me know, guys, if anyone's tried it, if they've been an existing customer and they've tried to use that 40% code, does it work? Leave us a comment, because if it does, I'll be helping over then straight away. Um, have a look. Um, Rico, um, Rico says, hey everyone, this is Rachel from the group. Oh, this is really good. If you're part of the Facebook group and you have a different name over on YouTube, where we're on here, um, drop your Facebook name um, in the chat as well so we know who we're talking to. Because often it gets really difficult to work out who's who. <laughs> so Rachel, sending you lots and lots of love. Um, I know it does, it feels like we are among friends. This is why I love these live streams because it's like a nice little tight knit group of like the hardcore friend group. And it's just, it's it's so good to sit down and just chat to everybody. Um, so Hilpri, welcome along. Sending you lots and lots of love. Celia, so, so good to see you. Um, uh, let's have a look. Oh, Celia says, uh, not into uh, all the Mother's Day stuff. Well, I'm, I appreciate, you know, it's not always the most positive time for everyone. So Celia, I'm sending you lots and lots of love. Um, Holly, welcome. Rita, so good to see you. Um, let's have a look if we've got, oh, we've got our first question. Though actually, I've got a few more hellos to do, which is Shelly. Welcome, so good to see you. Um, <laughs> Sarah, I, yeah. So Sarah, I can empathize with you. Sarah says, had a slight panic when I remember Mother's Day in the UK was months ago. I know, when everyone was wishing people Happy Mother's Day, I was like, I've forgot, I've forgotten. Oh my God, my mother will never forgive me. Then I was like, no, been there, done that. For some reason, the UK has a totally different day um, to everyone else in the world. Don't know why. No idea. But I did have a, Sarah, I empathise. I had a bit of a panic myself. Yoshi, welcome, my love. Laura, so, so good to see you. Um, Hayley, sending lots and lots of love. Um, and Christine, oh, oh, I've done that thing I always do where I've gone to the end of the comments. So I'm just going to go have to find my place. So um, I always say as we go through this, I um, go through all of the comments in the order in which they come in, answering all your questions. If I skip your um, comment, I just missed it out. It's never done deliberately and I always apologise. So if I did, you can ask it again if I've skipped past your comment. Um, and if for whatever reason um, you have to leave the chat and you didn't get an answer, just drop it in the comment section um, below the video and I'll get back 
back to you straight away after the video. So that's all the admin over. Let's get into all the questions. Um, FR, Meg, Megan, wonderful to see you. Um, so, so great to see everybody. I can't, just can't believe how busy it is. Um, so let's see, what's everyone been up to this week? Um, it, everything's very busy here, but, but, and very excitingly, um, we've got some stuff coming up in the next week that I want to call out. We've got a little bit more of a sunscreen vibe coming up because a lot of people are calling out for a review of the sunscreens which don't um, irritate the eyes. So I would love, this is like a big call out to anybody. Have you got sensitive, I, my eyes aren't that sensitive. I'm pretty good with sunscreen. So have you got sensitive eyes? If you have like the eyelids and just sunscreens make your eyes sting. If you have, please, please, please in the comment section, could you leave me a recommendation for a sunscreen which works for you? Because I want to pull together my favourite sunscreens for those people that have sensitive skin, sensitive eyes, and obviously any feedback from you guys would be so, so appreciated. Stefano, Diana, welcome, love you all. Uh, Chris is loving the new background, sending positive Sunday vibes. Well, I'm sending so many positive vibes to everyone. And yeah, this is this is my attempt at trying to get good internet because, let's be honest, it's been a bit buffery over the past couple of um, weeks. So I thought I'm going to move the whole setup, move downstairs. This, this is one of the living rooms. That we've got this is maybe cat infested so you'll see a whole lot of cat toys and you might get a cat playing so please stay and try and pay attention to me even if there is a cat frolicking in the background though I appreciate Marcel is way cuter than I could ever be so <laughs> I don't blame you if you think everyone focuses on the cats if they do come to play and FR has our first question which is thoughts on the tinted botanical SPF I think I might try those now I've not heard anything about um, tinted botanicals and um, I like the idea and I do know people have talked about it positively I haven't tried it myself the reason I don't try tinted SPFs is because on the channel I try to be as inclusive as possible and whilst do you know what I love a good tinted SPF most of them are geared towards my skin tone which is great for me I can always literally I can pick up any tinted SPF wear it and know it'll work but I'm quite a specific skin tone and there's a whole host of other people that it won't work for which is why I kind of try and not to recommend tinted sunscreens because it's kind of like saying if you're me, this will work. For everyone else, nope. Um, but I will definitely try it. I'm, I'm open to doing it. If people would like a tinted SPF video, I'm quite happy to do it. I just know it's quite difficult to do it in an inclusive way, if that makes sense. Um, Annika says, hi Rob, lovely to see the living room. Yeah, I thought mix it up a little bit. The lighting's quite flattering in here, so that's all good. <laughs> that's my main vibe. <laughs> um, William says, where is Tom? Do not worry, William. Tom is in the chat. I, Tom is in the chat. Um, I know he's having a wonderful time with his family again, celebrating some family time, which is great. I think after the past year and so many restrictions, just spending any amount of time with family is like, um, amazing thing. I'm getting to see all of mine in three weeks time and um, in time for my birthday. So that'll be really nice. And so if everyone that's spending time with their family and stuff today, I'm just sending you so, so much love. And for those of you that are, um, you know, spending today on your own, do not worry because we are the family. This is a skincare family. So you know what? We are all here. Um, and so, <laughs> Tom says it feels like we're all cozy in the living room today. It is. It's so cold. The fire might be going on. In fact, if I'd have thought about it, I would have put the fire on so I could stay warm. And Madonna says, hi, Rob and everyone. Happy Mother's Day. Sending lots of love, my love. Same to you, Rachel. <laughs> says she loves the polo neck. Well, this is funny. So I saw some friends um, and I wore this just because it's warm and you feel like... I don't know, you kind of feel like secure and you know, tight knit if, <laughs> if you're wearing the polo neck. Um, but someone said to me, um, was I wearing it because I was trying to hide a hickey or a love bite? I was like, come on, I'm not like 12 anymore. Um, but two people have now asked me that. So I wonder whether everyone has suspicions of people that are wearing polo necks. Just putting it out there. Like turtlenecks or whatever you call them. Um, Leah says, missed last week. I love that you said. Leah, we missed you last week and I'm so, so glad you can make it this week. Um, Hayley says, Sunday works better. I, I'd love it. I'm going to do a poll on the channel. I'll probably put it up tomorrow to see which days work best for people. And we might start mixing it up a little bit. I love our Saturday chats. But also, you know, I want to make it as accessible for everyone as possible. So... Um, definitely, definitely one to watch out for. <laughs> Stacey says, much love to the cats, the chickens, and the critters. Yes, we're, oh, this is a very critter-heavy house. As you can see, the number of beds, toys, the cat tree over there, toys over there. We're a very critter-filled house, but I think, you know what? A house 
doesn't feel like a home unless it's absolutely packed full of cat hair. <laughs> Charlotte says, hey, is it an okay routine? I'm 27, I cleanse, vitamin C, the um, Holica Holica Toner, love that product, the Holica Toner Mist, Ceramide Moisturizer and SPF. I think that's a really great routine, particularly for the morning. If you're thinking what you want to look for in the morning, in a morning routine, is definitely an SPF to protect the skin. An antioxidant is always a nice touch. I would like an antioxidant in anyone's morning routine, but it's an optional thing, but I always think it's quite nice. Um, and and then a serum which is going to tackle what you want it to tackle. So a vitamin C would act as an antioxidant and also a nice brightening agent. Um, you've got a toner in there, you've got a uh, mist, and you've got the ceramide moisturizer. I think that's a really, really nice routine. I'm a little bit of a fangirl for azelaic acid at the moment. So I would say check out my video I did on azelaic acid and work out whether it's right for you. Because that's the only thing I would say maybe you could think about including in your routine but you know not everybody needs to have one so check out that video and work out whether that sounds like something that would work for your skin if it does you could add that but other than that i think you've got a great routine really really nice routine now i'm gonna have a sip of my tea this is the first shout out to say if you haven't already smash that like button because it would be so so wonderful if we could be i think last week was the record we got 250 likes or something so if you haven't already click that like button i'm gonna have a quick sip of my tea and then we'll carry on with the questions Mm. But that is so good. That is such a good tea. Um, oh, so Shelly says, I'm excited for my Nia coppered amino isolate to turn up tomorrow. Do you know what, Shelly? You shouldn't say that too loud because I know so many people, it's different countries, it's out of stock still. So here in the UK, you can get it, but I know some countries absolutely can't get it. So don't say it too loud because everyone will be like, how did you get it? And I can't. <laughs> but I love it. I stocked up in November um, when they had their 24% off sale. And I've just got enough, I think, to last me for another couple of months. And it's just come back in order. So I might put, a, um, might put an order on. So I hope you, Shelley, you love it as much as I do. And keep us posted on what you think the results are. Uh, Meg said, I had a gin too. I'm trying a Scottish breakfast today. Oh, that sounds nice. I, I Scottish breakfast to me is, uh, we they do a lot of porridge and I love porridge. Like I know some people think it's basic, but it's not. If you do it right and you put all of the amazing things on and you can put like syrup drizzles on, ugh, I love porridge. That to me is like a good old Scottish breakfast, but I hope you're enjoying whatever it is you're having your side. Um, <laughs> Madonna says Sundays are a great day for an online tea party. I agree. I think it's it seems like a chill, nice end to the week. Have a cup of tea, it's all good. Um <laughs> Chris, you are reading me to fall. Chris, is that the iconic sofa where you used to film your older videos? Now, Chris, I could tell that you are you've been a fan for a while because this is in fact the sofa where if you go back, I'm trying to think of a video that I did, that I filmed on that sofa. I think if, oh, I think if you check out my Ordinary Azure Line review, I think that video was done on that very sofa. Different cushions because the dog chewed um, the old cushions, so we forget that. Different cushions, but basically the same sofa. So yeah. Literally 10 out of 10, Chris. I am impressed with your memory. Um, Guilia says hello from Sheffield. Sending lots and lots of love to Yorkshire, which is my place of birth. So sending lots of love to everyone in Yorkshire. Laura says, Rob, can you do a video on why European brands like La Roche-Posay are not cruelty-free when the EU legislation banned it several years ago? I don't get it. Laura, honestly, this is the most confusing thing in the world. So I totally agree with you. This would make a great video and I'll do a very brief explanation. I won't, you know, go to too much detail because it's, you know, it could feel literally to our video. I'll give you a brief explanation. So European Union legislation um, banned the use of um, animal testing on cosmetics and skincare products around, I'm going to say, say 10 years ago, it, it was a little bit less than that, maybe it was like eight years ago, but they banned it. And so basically no end products um, can then be tested on animals. This was a huge step forward and was great. What we shouldn't forget is the EU delayed implementing that legislation by about four or five years because L'Oreal lobbied really hard to have it um, watered down and have it delayed. So L'Oreal were the bad guys in all this. They finally said, we're gonna ban the use of animal testing in cosmetics. The reason why you can be a European brand but still not be cruelty free is twofold. One, you can still test certain elements that make up the product. So the end product can't be tested on animals, but there are some exemptions for ingredients which could go within it. But that doesn't affect many people because the exemptions are so tiny. So that doesn't impact many brands. What it usually comes down to is you can then test your products outside of the European Union on animals. So you let's just take La Roche-Posay. They take one of their sunscreens. Their sunscreens have 
haven't been tested on animals um, when they create them. The ingredients, to my knowledge, haven't been tested on animals. It's all good. They then sell it into Europe. And if you're buying it in Europe, you know that that product hasn't been tested on an animal. However, they then sell into China and China say you have to test this product on animals for us to be able to sell it. And they say, OK, no probs. We're going to test it on animals. So they do their animal testing and then they start selling into China. A lot of people say, is it animal free? Is it cruelty free? Because the ones that are selling in Europe technically aren't, but actually the brand is profiting off the back of animal testing. Does that make sense? So you can be a European brand and have, um, your, you know, conform to European legislation, but still sell into China and still have your products tested on animals. This is why it, European, because obviously European Union legislation only covers Europe. I mean, brands, in America, China, they don't have to listen to anything the EU says. So it's a bit of an odd one. It's a, totally, just as a total side note, it's a really poorly worded piece of legislation with loads of loopholes. And they didn't, I don't think, they allowed themselves to be influenced by some of the big cosmetic brands to introduce loopholes. So it's not the best. Better than nothing, but not the best. So that basically, in a nutshell, is why you could be like La Roche-Posay and be an entirely cruelty-free brand, but still test on animals. And which is then when you say, actually, you're not cruelty-free. Does that make sense? Oh, that was a bit of a rant, but basically that's the background to it. Um, it's definitely a step forward, and as a result of that piece of legislation, there's less animal testing going on. And that has to be a good thing, but it doesn't mean just because you're buying a European brand, you're buying cruelty-free. Um, N. Williams says, hi Rob, can I use the Inkelis salicylic acid wash um, and use the ordinary lactic acid after? I don't think so, but not quite sure. You actually can. Um, so the way I would see it is anything that you put on the skin in terms of a face wash isn't actually staying on the skin that long. You know, it's going to be in contact with your skin maybe 20 uh, seconds, a minute if you do it properly. And that's going to give a light exfoliation. It's going to balance the pH downwards. So it's going to take the pH of the skin downwards, which means you will get a light exfoliation. However, it's not going to have a whole lot lot of impact. So I would usually follow with a lactic acid. I think going for the 5% rather than the 10% is a good idea because the 10% might be a little bit too much. I would say if you don't have any skin sensitivity at all, using a salicylic acid wash to, you know, do an impore cleanse and balance the oil and then using a lactic acid afterwards, which is going to hydrate, is actually quite a good idea. And I'd probably recommend it. If you've got sensitive skin, I wouldn't use the two together. And Renee says, what's the best way to simplify your routine when your barrier is compromised? I would say go for multiple active products. So go for products that have more than one um, active ingredient because you're cutting down on the total number of ingredients in your entire skincare routine, uh, the total number of products in your routine. Um, when your barrier is compromised, I personally would just go back to cleansing and then put on the barrier repair cream and call it quits till it's sorted itself out. I think sometimes we try and fix the barrier. The skin's the best thing to heal. So the skin will heal itself if you give it time and space. So I would always say if you've got impaired barrier, leave your skin alone, cleanse, moisturize and put a barrier cream on if you want and then kind of just leave it. Let it heal itself and then you can gradually reintroduce things. Michael, welcome. 1 a.m. That is dedication. So thank you so, so much for watching and happy very early morning. Bev says, is 0.5 1% retinol too much for a 22-year-old? I tried the ordinary 0.2 and it did nothing. Um, it depends, Bev, what you're trying to achieve. So if you are looking for an anti-aging, I think that would be absolutely fine because you're not going to, you know, at 22, you're not going to have a whole lot of aging in the skin. So I think that would actually work really well and you probably won't see a lot of results because there's not a lot, you're using it as a preventative rather than expensive to see a whole host of results. If you're seeing using it to fight acne, which is what I do, then you probably do want to go for a stronger 1% because that'll deliver the better results for acne fighting. But I don't think it's too much. I think you've got to listen to what your skin says. Is your skin um, tolerating the product well? If it is, then you can go for one of the higher strengths. Um, Shelly says, have you tried the Timeless Vitamin C? And if so, do you like it? Shelly, I love it. Now, this was really, the Timeless Vitamin C, for those of you that don't know, has been so hyped online. Literally everyone says how amazing it is and it's the best vitamin C ever. I tried it. I liked it. Do I think it's the best vitamin C ever? No, I, I think it's impossible for it to live up the hype to the hype, but I did like it as a product. And it's a reasonably priced product as well. A lot of people say it's a dupe for the SkinCeutical C Ferulic. It's not quite because there are some significant differences between those products, but it is a nice product. And I would say if you're looking for an affordable vitamin C that's got some nice added benefits, Timeless, I think is a good option. Renee says, Charlotte, I would use the vitamin C after the toner. Oh, this is a good point, Charlotte. And um, when I was talking about the routine earlier, I said it was a good routine 
routine, the order, you can always mix around. And I will put the toner straight after the cleanser. But Renee, really good thing to call that out. Thank you. Christina says, hello, everyone. Almost missed this. Enjoying the routines posted on the Facebook group. Yes. So we have had some really great routines. I am filming my, this evening. I'm filming my evening skincare routine for the Facebook group. Um, and honestly, you guys, you're doing me out of a job. I <laughs> The skincare routines on that Facebook group are so, so good. Definitely worth joining and watching if you haven't seen the Facebook group already. I love, honestly, I love seeing you guys do your skincare routine. I've learned so much because some of them, some of the routines are super simple and yet delivering really great benefits. Some of them are even more bougie and complex than mine. And I love to see guys. What I love most is how people apply products because people have a totally different way of applying them than me. And I think we should always be learning. So I love them. And do you know what, guys? It takes guts. Like it takes guts to go bare skin on camera and upload it to the world. And all I say is I would never have done that when I was suffering my acne and stuff. Um, and so I just think it's tantamount to what a nice welcoming environment the Facebook group is that literally under all of those videos it's nothing but endless love and support so be brave join the Facebook group post your morning or evening routine and you know let's just share it with the world I'll be posting my um, evening skincare routine hopefully tomorrow I need to sit down and actually film it tonight <laughs> Haley says I love the Facebook group I honestly it was beyond when I set it up people have been asking me to set up a Facebook group for so long and I didn't do it because I thought I don't want the drama, the social media drama, the social media, everything on social media always seems to be negative. I don't want that. And I finally gave in and I'm so glad I did because it's the opposite. It's just positivity. It's people answering each other's questions. Uh, it, it is just a gorgeous environment. So if you're a part of the Facebook group, thank you for just making it honestly amazing. Um, N. Williams says, what do you think about Supergoop sunscreen? I love it. I love it. If you see my, my yesterday's video was on the best sunscreens for oily skin. I think that most of the Supergoop sunscreens work well for oily skin, which is my skin type. So I love them. Their zinc screen is my favorite, but I'll call out, it does have a very, very light like pinkish tint to it so it works really well for what I class as lighter skin tones I think once you get to sort of anything darker than my skin tone I think it might come off a bit ashy on the skin so just call that one out but that's my favorite um if you like the tint um I love the unseen sunscreen though I do find if I use that like more than three days in a row I start to notice congestion in the skin that's just because I'm super breakout prone but for most people that will work really well uh, Yoshi says, how do you feel to have over 40,000 subscribers? Honestly, I, I, I'm speechless. I lately, I, it takes a lot to shut me up. And I was genuinely speechless when we crossed the 40,000. Um, I, 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 they're genuinely speechless. I, I, the idea that 40,000 people would call this channel home is just like... Uh, mind-blowing and it makes it such a nice experience um to share with all you guys hey, people keep saying you manage to upload every day how do you manage to do that because it's not actually a chore like i literally enjoy every second of creating the content responding to the comments and um, you know sh chatting to people over on the facebook group i love every single minute of it because it is honestly this is the best experience hands down best experience of my life and i always say to people like if you have been thinking about maybe starting a channel maybe Maybe just starting an Instagram group, doing whatever social media stuff, just do it. Honestly, just do it. Because I put do it up, put off doing this for two years and I bit the bullet and it was the best decision I ever, ever made. And 40,000 people, it beyond what I ever, ever, ever dreamed it could be. And just thank you to everyone that subscribed. And I guess if you're not subscribed, um, that's totally cool. But there is the subscribe button there if you wanted to press it. Don't let me stop you. <laughs> now, I'm going to have a quick sip of my tea. So if you haven't already, um, click that like button. We're up to 82 likes, which is still absolutely amazing so thank you so so much um, and if you want to click the like button you can minimize the chat then click the like button and then you can maximize the chat again so you don't lose your place in the chat or anything like that such good tea uh, I say that every time I take a sip, but it's genuinely, it's such a good tea. Um, Megan says, congrats. Thank you so much, Megan, my love. Dorothy, joining from Africa, sending lots and lots of love. And do you know what? I was looking at our channel statistics, and we have a really good contingent of viewers from um, Africa. Lots of people from Nigeria and South Africa are the two main, but across the continent as well. So if you are joining from the African continent, I'm sending so, so much love. Um, Stacey says, I love the timeless vitamin C watery texture. It gives a lovely glow. A 
audible. Yeah, I think, so like I say earlier, I think it's overhyped, but that's not Timeless's fault. That's just people going, oh my God, this is amazing. It's a really nice light texture. It doesn't sting too much. It's a good concentration and it doesn't oxidize very quickly, which is amazing. Still keep it in the fridge because, you know, you should just always do that when it comes to vitamin Cs. But I think Timeless vitamin C is a really great affordable option, totally. Um, I'm still reaching more for the Purito vitamin C serum, which I love, um, but both are really good. Um, the vitamin C serum by Purito actually features in today's video. So straight after this live stream, we're gonna answer all your questions. And at quarter past seven, which is in 45 minutes time, um, you seamlessly move over to today's video, which is on second chances. Products that I wrote off, but actually took a second look at and thought, you know, before I throw them out, Let's try them again and actually see if I was right to, you know, call them out as being, you know, fails or whether maybe I was a bit too hasty. And if I'm honest, I was. So we could kind of do second chances and see which products might be worth a second look. You don't need to do anything straight after this live. It direct you straight over to that. Um, Sandra says, hi everyone, hope everyone's having a great weekend. I am my love, I hope you are too. Sending lots and lots of love. Um, oh, Sarah says, got some Face Theory Azaclear Serum this week. Absolutely loving it, thanks for the recommendation. I think the Azaclear Serum from Face Theory is probably one of my favorite serums. I think, I'm already starting to think, I know we're only in May, but I'm starting to think, what are my like 2021 favorite serums? So when we get to the end of the year, I can kind of start pulling together that content. And I'm pretty sure the Azaclear Serum is gonna be on there, even though we're only like halfway through the year. So good. Jennifer says, I hear people talking about putting vitamin E serum on before makeup. Just wondering what are the benefits of vitamin E serum? What's my thoughts? So vitamin E has multiple benefits. So it's a um, skin compatible um, oil. So we already have elements of it in. So it doesn't really cause any sensitivity or irritation. So that's the first thing. If you have sensitive skin, it can be a really great option. It's going to hydrate. It's going to help soften the skin. And it also is a, a really nice antioxidant. I don't think vitamin C is like the wonder ingredient. I think there's so many other ones that should be in your skincare routine before you go for vitamin E. But if you want some extra, extra like moisturization in the skin and you want softer skin and you want a vitamin A, an antioxidant, vitamin E is a really good one to go for. Um, <laughs> Chris is so happy for you hitting 40k Rob on the way to 50. Um, yeah, I, I still have to think about how I'm going to celebrate 40k. We need to do something and we, I've got some ideas. Tom has been really kind to share some thoughts, feelings and ideas. So there is something announcement coming. I just have to do a few little bits before we do that um, and then onwards and upwards to 50k which honestly would be mind-blowing and um, Hildy says 40k and grow so th thank you so much my love that's so kind Um, oh Claire says what do you think of the super facialist brand well they just came into boots boots is a big drugstore here in the UK and super facialist just arrived in boots and um, I haven't actually been able to get my hands on any of their products yet because we've been in lockdown here in the UK the shops now open but I just haven't actually gone to um, the drugstore recently Recently. But they'll be one of the brands I pick up when I go there. So if people want a review of Super Facialist as a brand, I'm quite happy to pick up loads of products and do like a full brand review. Um, Katerina says, where is the cat? It's coming. He's coming. He can't resist his toss. Leo, my Singapore, which is a small, very, he's the small one. Marcel's the chunky one. Um, they will hate me for saying that if you knew. Um, he'll be out to play soon, I'm sure, because he can never resist his toys, Carl Leo. So I'm sure he'll be making an appearance. Beyond 50 Skin says, happy day to all. Sending lots and lots of love, my love. Um, <laughs> Laura says, remember to push that like button. I mean, it's not me asking. Laura says you have to. So if you haven't already, do what Laura says and push that like button. <laughs> my, my, Michael says, I want to see the cats. They will, if they don't come by the end of it, I'll call Marcel down. He he always comes when I call him, promise. Um, Maltron says, my science teacher said, a zinc sunscreen in the US can actually cause hairline recession. Do I know about this? Um, I don't know anything about that. I don't think there's much. I, I think we would have heard more about that if that was the case. Um, I, I don't feel that that is um, the case personally. I think there's a lot of things that go into that. Um, I would say, if you have any doubts on the sunscreen that you're using, definitely try a um, the opposite. So if you are worried about mineral sunscreen, mine, a zinc sunscreen, go for a chemical sunscreen. And then you kind of don't have to worry about it. That would be my suggestion. Now I'm looking out of the window and I've got here, just to set the scene, I can't turn the, sun, the, um, the, the web camera around, otherwise I would. All the chickens are sat on the garden table outside looking at me. Literally been stared at by four chickens. 
that's life. Um, and Josh said, just got back um, on vacation from sunny Florida, sending lots of lots of love. Um, I didn't bring all my products for my skincare routine. When I started back, the product started to sting. I didn't get sunburn. Thoughts? Sometimes, if you do take a break from your skincare, a day doesn't count, but say you take a week off your skincare, your skin does become less accustomed to it. And so actually, going back in, you might see some light peeling from your retinol, maybe a little bit of tingling from your azelaic acid. That's normal, but it should die down. But it's not like starting right back at the beginning. It should die down a little bit quicker. And Reve says, ooh, a new background. Yes, this is the new background. Um, just for the lives, I thought it'd be so much easier to film it here where I'm next to the internet source. So there'll be none of that rubbish buffering and we can all enjoy it, you know, without all that buffering. Um, Shelly says, I haven't got any face theory products. Am I missing out? Shelly, yes. Yes, you are. Um, I would definitely recommend um, face theory. I love so many of their products. Um, I wouldn't say like everything, like, all brands, they have their good and their bad. But broadly speaking, I've enjoyed so, so many of their products. So yeah, totally would recommend them. And they've got a 40% off sale if you're a new customer. So now would be the chance to try it if you want to. Uh, Rico said, the Facebook group wanted to know this. I use an alpha hydroxy acid and a um, L ascorbic acid, so vitamin C in an exfoliator, back to back in the morning. Leave it on for 30 minutes, then rinse. Rinsing exfoliates is fine and dandy, but thoughts on rinsing off um, ascorbic acid. Um, I think if you're leaving it on 30 minutes, it's fine. The absorption is what counts. So as long as you're giving it time to absorb into the skin, you're fine. I don't think you need to rinse off L ascorbic acid or vitamin C. It's personal preference, but it'll have done what it needs to do in that 30 minutes and you're fine. Um, I personally leave on my acids because they self neutralize and I leave on my vitamin C's because again, they work with the skin. So it's fine. But if you leave it on for 30 minutes and then wash it off, there's no problem whatsoever. Um, Let's have a look. Um, Emily says, hi, Rob. I wondered if you could help me with the suggestions for sensitive fragrance-free moisturizers that are cruelty-free in the UK. Struggling now, I have rosacea to find anything cruelty-free. Yeah, I think cruelty-free and rosacea don't necessarily go together that well. It can be really difficult to find um, products. Um, I would definitely say, it depends what you're sensitive to. I always recommend the Super Gel Moisturizer by um, Face Theory, which works so well. Cruelty-free, accessible in the UK. Um, it does have a small amount of vitamin C in there, which is great because it brightens and it's also an antioxidant however if you have rosacea i would be very careful patch testing it first if you speak to face theory if you actually message them sometimes they do do a money back if the product doesn't work for you you get a money back guarantee so you can kind of try without worrying i think that but i'd just be really careful and patch test first because whilst it's a very low amount of vitamin c you want to just be careful but that could work really well because in a way that could be your whole routine in one cleanse put that on an spf and you're pretty much good to go because there's so many nice things in there it's got very low strength niacin which is going to help calm and soothe and is compatible with um, rosacea and I think could just be a really great product so that'd be the one I try and um, if you're sensitive to vitamin C drop me an email my email's in the description box below and I will find out some other recommendations for you um Hayley says you're not the first time by you can just use a different email so you can use the code Hayley outrageous but do as Haley says because that's quite a good idea <laughs> I love that I'm going to try that later uh, Morgiana says when face theory doesn't ship to your country they ship to Lithuania but not Latvia that's bizarre that is bizarre I, I don't maybe it's something to do with the customs or imagine they're both in the EU so I, I literally have no idea but that's a shame because I know their shipping is very affordable so I hope I hope they start shipping um to um, Latvia very soon um, Valeria says, I love your content. Thank you so, so much, my love. I'm sending you lots of love. Evelyn says, where can the, um, oh, what's that? Where can the Round the Lab 2021, ah, oh, okay. So where can the Round Lab Birch Juice Sun Cream be purchased in the US? I believe you can get it on Stylevana and Yes Style. They're the two ones that I usually order from. It has been tried, tested, um, and independently verified, which is great. Because, you know, we've all, let's be honest, been turned off Korean sunscreens because of that, because of some of the issues going on but that one the round lab birch juice is tried tested and verified so i would totally totally recommend it if you haven't tried it already and um, michael says i'm going to try the new 40 now yeah definitely worth it on the face theory you know i don't get any commission for any of these codes on face theory i just it's a discount for you guys but definitely worth try if you want to stock up on any of your favorites meg m says isn't tree any word on their sunscreens i love the hyaluronic acid water there isn't 
there was some issue where the um, Australasian distributor said, we don't think this is actually living up to the SPF 50 plus that they say. They came back and said, no, definitely is, but we're testing it still. There's a lot of red flags with that Isn't Tree um, sunscreen. First of all, there's no way something that lightweight without alcohol can deliver an SPF 50 plus, in my opinion. I'll wait to see and I'm willing to be proved wrong, but I, I don't, I can't see it working. And also they were saying, no, no, we're absolutely confident and we're still testing it. Those two things can't be true. Why are you retesting it if you're absolutely confident? And how can you be confident if you're still testing? Um, uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't feel too good about these. Tree. I mean, look, if if you're using it in and about the house, you know, maybe you're running a few errands. You're not in a high UV environment. You're probably fine with it. I think if you, I wouldn't use it on the beach is what I would say. Um, so um, Katerina says, have you tried Naturium? If so, where do you buy it from? I'm from Portugal and can't get it anywhere. So I have tried Naturium. There's always a lot of controversy whenever I mention Naturium um, because lots of people, you know, don't, you know, don't want to use it because of the launch, which I totally get. Um, I tried Naturium when they first launched. I liked a lot of their products. Then the whole launch thing happened and all of that scandal, which, you know, most people are aware of. And I just, it turned me off the brand completely. Then six months later, I thought, do you know what? Let's have a second look at this. You know, second chances. Let's have a look and look at the quality of the products. And again, I was pretty impressed with the products. I liked them. I thought they worked well for my skin. Um, and, you know, some of them, they had the hits and misses, but generally speaking, I liked them. However, then everyone passed piled in and said, have you forgotten everything that went on with the launch? And so I just thought, not worth mentioning anymore because of the whole drama. So I don't necessarily recommend their products, but I also don't say, you know, don't shop them. If you want to get them in Europe, it's pretty much impossible. It's a US only brand. I had a friend send them all over to me, which is how I managed to try them. Um, but I do know that you can sometimes buy them through third parties, but I'd just be really careful. I believe they're going to start shipping internationally soon, though. I don't know. I'm not really in touch with the brand, so I don't know any dates or anything like that. Um, but I will say, you know, when they do ship internationally make i always say make your own decision um when it comes to whether you want to purchase it or not based on that launch and everyone has to make their own decision it's not for anyone to say do or don't buy from something i think the products are good but i know that the launch does put a lot of people off megan says how um how do i know which actives are most important which should add first it's between retinol, lactic acid, glycolic acid, niacinamide, tranexamic, azelaic, I have dry skin. I would say, what are you trying to achieve? So what I always say to people is, what are you trying to achieve with your routine? If your number one issue is dead skin or wrinkles or hyperpigmentation, use the product you're using to treat that first. So prioritize the thing that you want to get the most benefit from out first, and then you can follow everything on. So if you've got dry skin, um, if you've got dry acne prone skin, I would personally say on a morning, your lactic acid would be the most important, and I put that on, and then follow up with azelaic acid and that so and so forth. But that's generally how I would prioritize the actives in terms of which ones you choose on that day. Natasha says, hi, this is Natasha from the UK, loving your content. Sending you lots and lots of love, my love. Tony says, happy Sunday. Happy Sunday to you, my love. Thank you so, so much. Um, <laughs> lots of people recommending, if you want to get your hands on the Face Theory code 40% off, you can use a different email address. Um, I, I'm saying nothing, but I'm going to be doing that later tonight. <laughs> so, um, Chrissy said, your accent, heart. Do you know what? My accent is, a, I'm a Northern um, Brit, so my English accent is very different to what I think most people expect when they hear English accent. They think Dame Maggie Smith in Downton Abbey. You don't get that with me. Um, and lots of people, I do see in the comments of videos, lots of people say, um, oh, I'm learning English, so it's great to watch your content. I think, oh no, I hope people don't end up learning English and think that this is how English people speak and this is good. <laughs> Because I, I think my accent's pretty dodgy. Uh, but thank you ever so much, Chrissy. Uh, Valeria says, do you also have tingles after using Azaclear? I do. So, because it's a high strength azelaic acid, you will get, I'm just sorry, I'm distracted by a chicken here who is fanning her feathers and just looking gorgeous. Hello, love. Yeah, they're very friendly. Um, yes, I do get tingles from Azaclear. There's a couple of things you can do. First of all, put it in the fridge. Um, if you keep it in the fridge, you get less tingle, just out of my experience. Um, but also, it shouldn't last too long. Um, so I just say, and it does diminish over time. Like You don't get the same tingle like a month after. 
um, after using it when your skin's used to it. But keep it in the fridge and that will really help. Um, Sabrina says, hi Rob, hi Mad Fam. Hello my love, sending lots and lots of love. Ivy said, I'm, I'm an existing customer but it works if you use a different email. Uh, we've all caught on, we've all caught They must expect people to do this. <laughs> um, Sarah says, I don't get the tingles after the Azure Clear. I find it quite gentle. I think it very much depends on your skin type. I also think the oilier your skin, the less tingle you get. Um, just That's just out of my own anecdotal experience. Experience. I think the oilier your skin is, the less tingle you'll get with an azelaic acid. It um, doesn't mean it's not working. Just because you don't get tingle, it's still working. Um, let's have a look. Dorothy says, hey, someone help. Naturium has two azelaic acids. Which one is good for acne prone skin and hyperpigmentation? Um, I don't know. Would you mind dropping that um, that question in the comment section? Um, and I'll go, that will remind me, and I'll go and I'll look at the two because I don't know. I haven't actually tried um, both of them. I've tried one and I need to just get my head around which one's which. But I'm happy to, to say which I think would be better for acne prone skin. So just leave me a comment um, below and that will remind me to do it. Life by Nelly says, can you use retinol, like the Inkillus the Gentle one, as a 15-year-old? Um, I think retinol is great for acne, and we get acne in our teens. So I definitely think, you, do you need to use a retinol for anti-aging at 15? No, you don't need to be using a retinol for anti-aging that young, I don't think personally. But it can really help, particularly a gentle one like the Inkillus, for acne, controlling oil levels in the skin, and giving a resurfacing to the skin. Because often in our teens, we can get a little bit of rough texture on the skin. So yeah, absolutely, it's fine to use at any age. I I just think if you're using it for anti-aging only, I think it's a little bit too early, but for acne and for texture, it can be a really great option. Um, oh, Yoshi says, the Bioderma Stick 50 Plus is not stinging to my eyes. Thank you so, so much. Yeah, and keep any recommendations for sensitive skin sunscreens coming because I'm doing a video on it and I'd love your input. Um, A-Line says, um, I have terribly sensitive eyes. That's why I stick to the SkinCeuticals SPF. Love it. I love everything SkinCeuticals, bar the price. Just the price. <laughs> it puts me off. But yeah, I'll definitely think about that one. Um, oh, Sarah says, anyone tried the Ultraviolet SPF from Space NK? I have, and I love it. I just don't like the price. I really hate their price. But Oh, it's such a good product. It's such a good product. Um, I love Space NK. Honestly, Space NK, we, you know, I think who, which brands and things would I want to do a sponsorship with? I don't do sponsored content on this channel particularly because I have to really love the brand to actually want to do it. And then I was making a list like mentally in my head. If they came to me and said, could you do a sponsored video? Who would I say yes to? Space NK, I would. I shop in Space NK so often and they honestly they just might as well take my credit card and rob me because i spend so much money in there it's so good um for those of you not in the uk space nk is like a little bit of a boutique sort of skincare place where you get all the brands that's really hard to get elsewhere they kind of do those unique indie brands and you find so many good products emily says if you're able to order from the face theory website i did from canada there's 50 percent off the first order code use it successfully i love face theory i love a good code i love a good discount code um, and obviously guys make sure you check out i did a video on the best from face theory in a six month update on how it's worked to my skin check that out before you order to make sure you're buying quality products from them I know you should say, my sister used the new Furticone bots of, uh, so I think it does work. Keep trying and use the alternative email address if you need to. Um, <laughs> Rachel says, my living room is the same. I have a cat tower, cat wheel, various toys. Literally, I spend most of my life falling over cat toys, so I could totally empathise. I've got a slightly dismembered squirrel on a stick here. We've got cat toys over here. We've got a cat tree. This cat tree is like up to the ceiling because Leo, my cat, loves to be super, super high. So he sits on his little perch sort of king of everything he surveys. Now I'm going to have a quick sip of my tea. So if you haven't already, guys, click the like button, click the subscribe button, do all that YouTube-y stuff that people keep saying to do. And I'll just have a quick sip of my tea. Mmm. It's so, so good. Um, Michael says, oh, this is a really interesting question. Won't the rose hip fruit extract on Face Theory as a clear um, act as a sensitizer? It's kind of, kind of keeping me from buying the product. I have sensitive skin. So fruit extract on as sensitizing as um, artificial fragrance, essential oils, but I always say you can be sensitive to any single ingredient in the world. So fruit extracts, some people can be sensitive to. It doesn't have any impact on me whatsoever. And I find that the Azaclear is so calming, especially with the oat, it doesn't matter at all. I would say with Face Theory, if it's putting you off, just double check with them first. And um, because you can return the product if it doesn't work for you. So whilst nobody wants to have a reaction to a product, at least you know you're not wasting your money because you can get it refunded. So that's one thing I call out, but um, 
I, I think roasted fruit extract should be fine, but I don't have super sensitive skin, so it can be difficult to know. Mawa says, please, um, you need an effective whitehead remover and a way to get rid of pores naturally. Um, so I would definitely say if you want to do that, salicylic acid is going to be your best bet. Um, I don't know any other natural alternative to it that works as well, for me at least, as salicylic acid. Um TD says, wait, it's Sunday. Yes, we moved to Sunday um, this week because I had other things on yesterday. Um, but I thought we'd mix it up. It'd be a good chance to see if Sunday works better. In terms of the views, um, it's getting that we're getting the same number of people as ever, which is almost almost touching on a record, which is fantastic. Honestly, I'm always blown over with how busy these um, lives are. So it's uh, clearly Sunday works for people as well. I kind of just want to mix it up and see which dates work better. But I'm going to put a poll out on the channel um, in the next couple of um, days to see which works better better a Sunday or a Saturday live stream because I want to be as accessible to as many people as possible. Um, oh, William the Antioxidant Queen says, hi Rob, I know you like the Blue Lizard SPF, why do you not mention it in any review? Do you know what, it's funny, well, this, is a good, this is a good question. So I love, love, love the Blue Lizard Mineral SPF. It's one of my go-tos. The reason I don't mention it is because it can be quite hard to get in some countries and it's one of those that I use Something about it, I don't know, I like it. Every time I use it, I think, oh, I really like this, but it's not one that I reach for every single day. So there's no reason why I don't mention it. I would definitely, definitely recommend Blue Lizard. As a, as a SPF brand, they're really good. The one with the top that changes color depending on the UV strength, great, especially if you're going to the beach and stuff. Definitely would recommend it. I don't know why, I don't know why. I will put it right, William, I will put it right. I'll make sure in my next video they get a pride of place mention because I do love the brand. Um, let's have a look. Um, so Bev says tinted sunscreens are one of the only ones that protect us against blue light. So there are other there are other sunscreens with certain antioxidants and stuff that do do blue light protection, but tinted sunscreens can be really good um, for that as well. So yeah, I'm happy to do a video on tinted sunscreens. Strawberry Milk says, hi, what do you think about the Hada Labo AHA BHA foaming wash? Um, Hada Labo is impossible to get here in the UK. Every time they stock up, they sell out, which is just because they're super popular. So I haven't tried it. Um, I think if you're putting all of your um, exfoliators into a face wash, I don't think it's the best option. I just don't think you get that real depth of exfoliation. And also foaming washes tend to be stripping as are some um, exfoliating acids. So I'm gonna give it a go if I can ever get my hands on it. But my first worry is, unless you have very oily skin, it could be a little bit stripping and drying. Uh, watching the potato, I love that name, says, this is always such a treat to watch when I'm forced to wake up at 4am on Monday, love from New Zealand, where tomorrow is New Zealand, well, love, I'm sending lots and lots of love to New Zealand, a happy morning where it must be Monday, so happy Monday morning to everyone in Australia and New Zealand, Sarah says, the polo neck is very chic, well, thank you, Sarah, I like to make an effort, you know me, <laughs> I was just really cold, but thank you, Karis, welcome, my love, <laughs> Karis says, my home is so tidy, if you looked closer, I think the camera, you know, the camera's been very generous to me. My ca my home is literally an animal palace. They take pride of place over everything else. And if you've ever tried to keep a house clean with animals, I gave up a long time ago. <laughs> Jessica says, hello from Canada. Send you lots of love, my love. I have such sensitive eye area and use the SkinCeuticals Physical Eye Defense SPF. It's a little pricey, as is everything with SkinCeuticals, but it's the only thing that doesn't burn and sting and make me cry. This is really good. A lot of people have called out the SkinCeuticals, so I think they're where it's at when it comes to um, sensitive eye sunscreens. So thank you so much for calling out. Um, ASMR, Alice says, hi Rob, um, where should I add my new Neod Copper Amino? I said, I'm so glad you're trying it, my love. I use salicylic acid, survival zero, uh, survival 30 in the day, and the ordinary granite of retinoid is squarely in at night. I personally would, it's got a 24 hour mechanism of action, so I would personally put it um, in um, the evening next to your retinoid, because you can use it alongside the retinoids, the pH is fine. In the morning, you could use it, but I think um, next to the salicylic acid could be a little bit problematic. So I personally would use it in the evening next to your retinoid, no problems at all. And I hope you love it as much as me. Keep us posted on what, you, your, what your thoughts are on it. Um, Marta says, happy Sunday. Happy Sunday, my love. Have you tried the tinted Inculus SPF 30? I'm curious. I love it. The only reason I don't mention it more and rave about it more is because I think the tint is very, very specific to my skin type. So if you are my um, skin type or around my skin tone, you're fine. 
anyone lighter or darker, I don't think that tint would work. And this is why I wish they'd come out with a range of tints so they'd have a broader range that covers to more skin tones because it'd just be more accessible, but it's a really great product. Tried, tested, and verified, so it's win, win, win. JK Loves Mary says, oh, nice backdrop, happy weekend. Thank you for joining, my love, and happy, happy Sunday to you, and thank you very much. Um, Tom says, the Make Prem sunscreen doesn't bother my eyes at all. No stinging. I personally don't get it either, Tom. I, I think Make Prem, the Make Prem one works really well for my eyes, but... I always, I always wonder, because I don't have sensitive eyes, nothing, literally nothing stings them. So I wonder whether I'm the best person to kind of judge it. But I've never had a problem with Make Prem like you. I, so like I said, I think that's a really good one to call out. Um, what's some nice retinol products? Oh, if you want to go low strength or starter retinol, the Inkless Retinol is gorgeous. I... I love the Face Theory 2%, that's also great. If you want to step it up a notch, the Face Theory 3% is great. The Geek and Gorgeous um, Retinal is fantastic. Um, all of those work really well. I actually did a whole video on retinol with finding the right strength. So I check that video out because it's got like different strengths of different retinols. Uh, Marley says, if you are subscribing to our Facebook page, please answer all the questions. This is a really good point. So when we, to stop spammers, because we have had a few we know we know who these people are. Uh, people that want to just join the Facebook group, advertise whatever they're selling, and then off they go. And we've also had a few scammers and things like that. So to prevent that, we've put some questions in um, the Facebook group. Um, it's not to catch anyone out. It's not to ask it. I think there's only three questions. So it's not like a super, super in-depth thing. But if you do want to join the Facebook group, um, just make sure that you answer those questions. Um, it's just like making sure you understand the rules of the group. So we can all have an amazing time over there. So thank you for calling that out, Marlene. Make Marlene and Tom's job easier uh, moderating Facebook. Facebook group by answering the questions. <laughs> um, let's have a look. Leah says, do you have some tips for peeling skin? My ex glow serum still gives me a ton of peeling around two days later and I'm wondering if my skin just doesn't get along with it. Peeling can be a good thing because tackling hyperpigmentation, removing all that pigment, that could be a good thing. If it's causing it, say two weeks after you start using the product, then maybe I think maybe it's not the right product for you. But I persevere through that. And one thing you can do is if you've got a um, muslin cloth, just take your cleanser off with a wet, damp muslin cloth and that'll just gently, very gently, take off that um, surface dead skin cells that's just exfoliating itself and will help with the peeling. Um, oh yeah, Sarah's calling out the Geek and Gorgeous A-game. Love that retinol. That's definitely one I'd recommend. Um, Tamsin says, Evening Rob, how are you and the animals? I'm currently living in the honey mask. It feels really nice on the skin. I, I, the animals are all fine. Too many of them, as I always know. They've got the chickens out here, the cats, toys are everywhere, but they're all living their best life, which is I'm beautifully happy, which is the main thing. I, I love that I'm from Honey Mask, though I'm a little bit. I don't normally do natural, like natural skincare, because I find it. I don't know, I, I find sometimes it's just easier to buy a product. But one thing I do love to do, if I'm having an acne breakout, I smear my skin in honey, let, let it do its work, and then I rinse it off with warm water and a muslin cloth, and that I do find works really well. And I'm from Honey Mask, it's just an easier way of doing that. So yeah, totally, totally agree, it's gorgeous. Now we are, we've got 15 more minutes of the live, so do not worry, keep those questions coming, and I'm gonna get through as many of them as I can. After that, we go straight over. So as soon as I end the live, we go straight over to today's video, which is on second chances. Those products that didn't work for me first, First time around, but I'm going to give a second chance to. If you don't have time to stay for that video, I don't worry, I don't mind. Just hop over there, click the like button, leave a comment if you want, or do all of that. Um, and then, you know, you can always catch up because um, it's on there like any video is forever. Um, let's have a <laughs> Marlene says, please hit the like button for some extra glow. Marlene's on it. She's actually found it scientifically proven the more likes we get, the more glowing our skin becomes. So, <laughs> better do that. Um, Tamsin um, says, on the face theory as lake acid, looking forward to trying it. I love it. Keep it in the fridge because that minimizes the tingle when you first use it. Jessica says, make prem is out of stock everywhere in Canada. It is so difficult to get a hands on now, which is such a shame as I love it. And I do know the price has gone up and up and up because some companies decide now it's so popular to sting us on the price, which I don't agree with. But hopefully make prem will be able to catch up with the manufacturing and it'll come back in stock soon. Um, Hildy says, first time here, Welcome, my love. I'm so, so glad you could join. I think my repigment is breaking me out. I think I might have gone bad, although it's only been open for two months. What colour should it be and what 
should could be the problem so it does contain an oil base so that could be i have breakout prone skin and it doesn't break me out but that could be something um and it should be the color of like a caramel very light caramel and smell a bit biscuity and um, if you've got any queries contact the ordinary and just say you think there's a problem with it and they should send you a replacement out and um, any good company should send a replacement out particularly because if you've got worries about it they can talk you through it but i'd say a very light caramel and it's got a slightly biscuity croissant -y scent to it which i love but some people People think, oh, has it gone off because it smells a bit biscuity? That's just the scent. Um, <laughs> Tom says, I remember the original Face Mask Friday chats on that sofa. Shall we do it again? Shall we bring back the Face Mask Friday chat? I might just do a random face. This was something we did really on early on. This is this was before the live streams where I felt a little bit like um, I was a bit too nervous to do a live stream. And so basically I just sat on that chair, on that sofa, with a face mask on and answered some questions that people had like left before the video. Um, it wasn't interactive because it was on replay. And oh, if you want to laugh, I was in a ball of wreck. So like Google face masks, or like search for face masks Fridays and watch one of those videos. It's worth a laugh. Um, but yes, Tom, you do remember them well. And that was the exact sofa. I might, I might just for old time's sake, bring back the old face mask Friday video just as a one off. Cause you know what, who doesn't like to reminisce? Uh, Mahe says, hi Rob, all the way from Egypt. Send lots and lots of love to Egypt. Can I use the skin SkinCeutical C Ferulic with the Claude Lee um, Vino Perfect Serum? You can, and those two would go quite well together. I love the C Ferulic, but oh, it's so expensive. So um, I am going to come up with a dupes video for people that do want to explore some dupes for that product. Um, William, the antioxidant queen, said, um, you, you did the antioxidant video on that sofa. I did. Yeah, call out. If you remember this sofa from my previous videos, you can call out those videos. I did do the antioxidant one. I used to. I used to film in my bedroom, which is normally where you see the videos. Um, um, but when the sun used to shine through that window so intense it made it impossible to film i came down here and did it i'm um, on the sofa instead usually sat on the floor with the sofa in the background not the best background drop but it's it's nostalgia i i'm impressed everyone remembers um let's have a look um let's have a look chloe says what is your opinion of using the rose hip oil during evenings when your skin using skin are in would it all uh, would you use it after my moisturizer so i would mix it in with your moisturizer mix the two together because it absorbs better that way but it works really well with the skin are in and i would totally recommend it in the evening um let's have a look um leah says have you tried the body scrub from face theory i'm thinking about buying it i have and i know a lot of people hate scrubs you go on the skincare community on youtube mention of a scrub and everyone does that <gasps> face that they all pull in those reaction videos i know i know scrubs are bad but actually for the body i love them and that if you are looking to get your body yaddy yaddy summer ready and get ready for you know revealing all to the world um i would definitely think the face theory um i'm such you know, i was just thinking i'm so pasty white under all of this i don't think the world is ready to see any of this but at least with face theory and their uh, um, scrub i can feel a little bit more confident it smells gorgeous it smells like um it's like a pina colada on the beach is what it smells like so yeah i would totally recommend it i've got one and i use it what how i do it is I have a shower and um, no, I have a bath and I'm one of those weirdos that rinses in the shower after a bath I don't know why I do that but I, I, leave me a comment if you're one of those weirdos that does that as well and so I have a really long bath get everything softened and feeling great then I gently use um, and don't put too much pressure on just massage it into the skin the face theory body scrub then I just shower it all off and oh, it leaves your skin just feeling amazing um hello Olucci, welcome 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 um let's have a look be kind says hi everyone i use the australian gold botanical tinted 50 does not irritate my eyelids matte finish it's not very moisturizing prices i love 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 um australian gold and um, such great skincare and uh, sunscreen brand and i'd say yeah they're not too um they're not too irritating in general though um the price is a little bit up there and the tints obviously try before you buy if you can because the tints will only work for certain people obviously um okay she says good morning I'm so, so glad you could join, my love. Can't stay because I'm off to get my second vaccine shot. So nice to see everyone. First of all, I hope it goes really well. So, so grateful you could drop by and say hi and let me know how it goes. I hope you're feeling amazing afterwards. And um, Manuel says, Rob, the new sunscreen from Garnier Super UV that I mentioned is also wonderful around the eyes. I ordered it. So Manuel left a comment in last 
yesterday's video saying the new Garnier, now totally cruelty free, fully on board with that, um, Super UV um, was really good. I ordered one today, so it's gonna be delivered in the week and I cannot wait. 17 euros, bargain price. Here in the UK it was 9.99. I think it'll probably last a month, so a really good product. Um, <laughs> Tom says, Marlene will start the nose mold challenge if everyone hits the like button. Well, if that isn't encouragement enough, I don't know what is. Hit the like button and you've got a promise from Marlene there. <laughs> um, can Alpha R booting cause purging? It shouldn't. Um, it shouldn't at all, so you should be absolutely fine. I've never had an issue with it. Um, Kara says, I just love playing petroleum Vaseline when my skin is irritated or damaged. I think if you have very dry skin, Skin and you've got that irritation, then putting a light layer of the petroleum jelly, which people call slugging, which is a gross term, um, can help. I think I always caution people if you have very acne prone skin in the past, it has caused me to break out, but it shouldn't with people with dry or normal skin. That can be a really great way um, of improving irritated or damaged skin. So, Kara, thank you so much for calling that out. Mercedes says, Hello, everyone. Join late. Mercedes, even though a little bit late, but so wonderful to welcome you. And the good thing is, all of these lives are on replay so as soon as we finish um, it's recorded so you can watch it back at any time um, so yeah, and actually I'll do a big hello to the replay squad because I know half of the people that watch these live streams actually watch it on replay. So hello to everyone watching on replay and loving you just as much as those that could join live. Um, let's have a look. TD says, is it too much to use Geek and Gorgeous Retinal at night along with 10 Mandelic Acid in the morning? No, I think that's a beautiful combination. Gentle AHA mixed with a high strength um, retinal, opposite ends of your routine, perfection. Um, let's have a look. Um, Jana says, hi, greetings from... I've lost my place, sorry. If I've, I think I might have missed some bits. I've lost my place. Jana says, hi, greetings from Slovakia. A bit late, but here. Welcome, my love, and sending lots of love to Slovakia. I think I've lost some of these comments. I, I hate the way that YouTube now present this, so I'm sorry if I've missed your comment. What I will say is we have plenty of time still to answer questions. I'm going to keep going through and answering all of your questions. If, for whatever reason, I missed your question or I didn't get around to answering it, I'm so, so sorry. And what you can do is just leave it, drop it in the comment section um, below this video. And I the next day, I go back and I answer all your comments. So I will definitely, definitely, definitely get around to answering your comments. Um, let's, uh, Naisha says, I really love the Facebook group. There's always active discussions and learning new stuff every day. Thank you so much. I love the face. I learn new stuff every time I log onto that Facebook group. It's so good. Ewell says, I have one question. I got a day or two ago reaction on my skin. I have a lot of little red spots on my face, but I have no idea from what. I haven't changed anything in my routine. What could it be? Could be something that you've eaten that often presents itself in the skin. Um, it could be anything like contact issues. So you might have have inadvertently put something on the skin that you don't realize and um, there's a whole host of things it could be i would just let your skin um just get over the go minimal don't pile new products on the skin and it will um it will hopefully come back uh, let's have a look. Um, I've just lost quite a few of these comments. I'm so sorry. The way that YouTube presents this is impossible to follow. <laughs> but Bell Bond says, oh, I missed your live. We'll rewatch. It's a pleasure, my love. It's there for rewatching. So sending you lots of love and thanks for popping on in. Anna says, evening, guys. Cooking dinner, drinking wine, watching this. Anna, love you. Love your skincare routine over on the Facebook group. I was living for your routine. So thank you so much for sharing. Um, and yeah, happy cooking. I'm so glad you could join. Um, oh, Romel says, what do I think about the Aldi Glow recipe dupes? So Aldi, which is a super affordable um, supermarket here in the UK and Europe, do some really good dupes for Glow recipe. And I think they're just as good. I mean, it's a blatant ripoff, a total ripoff, but they're so cheap. And yeah, they'll work quite well. Hannah says, how much does sleeping in my makeup affect my skin? I feel like the number one cause of acne is hormones. Do you know what? Sleeping in your makeup, you shouldn't do it, really. I think it's overblown. I think people say, oh, if you, um, you know, if you sleep in in your makeup, you're doomed and it's all good. It's not the best habit to be in. And I would think if, particularly if you're acne prone, it's probably not gonna help your skin. Having your skin breathing and healing overnight is beneficial. But people say sleeping in your makeup is the number one way to destroy your skin. It's really not. You know what? I just think it's a sign that you're enjoying life. If you've had a really busy night out and you fall asleep in your makeup, it's not gonna destroy your skin. If you do it every single night, I think it's a bad habit to be in and I would recommend people just do a light cleanse. If nothing else, just do a light cleanse before bed. Um, your skin will thank you for it, but it's not the doom that everyone says it is, I promise. Um, Suzanne says, oh, I'm late. Don't worry, Suzanne, my love. I'm just so glad that you're here. And anything you missed is on replay, but it's wonderful to have you. Um, AZZ saying, uh, cozy room. Thank you so much, my love. Lovely to have you here. 
Um, oh, Emily G says, so you mentioned Face Theory Super Gel. I ordered it last night, funny enough, so I'll let you know how it works. See, we're on the telep telepathy, Emily, my love. I'm so glad we're on the same wavelength here. I can't wait to see what you think of it. Um, Bev says, is the Face Theory eye cream good? It is. Do you need it? No. You can use your normal moisturizer. I don't think you need an eye cream in your routine, but if you want an eye cream and you want to be a little bit bougie, give the eye a little treat, I think the Face Theory one is really, really good. Um, Meg M says, thank you so much. You're doing amazing. Trying to get to everyone's question. Thank you, Meg. I don't always succeed. I do my best to answer everyone's questions. But, you know, if I miss your question for whatever reason, um, just drop it in the comment section below and I promise you, promise you, I will answer it. Um, Kara says, do a lot of people confuse you with Hiram? Despite the glasses and the completely different accent, you seem to roll with it. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I I get a lot of... I, I Do you know what? I get it. I get it. There is a limited number of um, people doing skincare on YouTube. Hiram is, I take it as a compliment, but you know, Hiram, one day, if I had 4 million subscribers, honestly, or however many he's got now, uh, I'd be overwhelmed. I take it as a compliment. Um, I get, I do get confused, and people do say, people often say, Hiram wannabe, like, I'm only doing this because I want to be him. Like, I, I respect him. I think he's a great content creator, but I don't want to be anyone but myself. Um, and But that doesn't offend me, because I kind of just think that's the other person's issue, not mine. And we get, we both like blue. So often we both wear blue shirts, so I think that's where a lot of that comes from. Um, but you know what? I would just say... If you listen to, I never get confused for people that actually watch the channel because we have a very different perspective on skincare. It's not saying I'm right, he's wrong. No, we're both kind of just have a different perspective. And I think that's healthy. Different views, different perspectives are all healthy. Um, and we kind of are at a different place in our skincare journey. So Hiram and his audience are a younger demographic. I'm in my mid thirties. I would, you know, you know, I am not living my 23 year old best life. Uh, I'm in my mid thirties. I've got a few lines to show for it and I'm proud. I wear them with pride. It's a little bit of a different concept. And I think there's space enough for everyone on the internet. But I do really like Hiram. I love his content. So no shade whatsoever. And um, Ellen says, hi, Rob. What do you recommend as a good vitamin C derivative for dry, sensitive skin? Oh, the ordinary ascorbyl tetroisopalmitate solution in vitamin F. It's hydrating. It won't be too um, sensitizing on the skin and is a great strength. I love that. Now we've got three minutes left, so I'm going to answer three more questions. And then what happens is everyone seamlessly gets moved over to today's video, which is on skincare second looks. So everyone deserves a second chance, including products. I share with you those products that I didn't like first time around, but I've given a second chance to. Are they better on second worth or is it still a wah, 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 total fail? Definitely worth the watch. And what happens is you don't need to do anything. You'll automatically be seamlessly moved over. But I've got time for a couple more questions. So let's squeeze them in. Um, let's see. Sarah says, I'm a Northern too. Your accent is excellent. Sending lots of love to all you Northerners out there. Um, what's a good product to fade the sunspots on my forearms? Definitely would work, recommend tranexamic acid. You can use a facial product on the arms as well. That would be a really great product. But make sure you put sunscreen over the top as well because you know what? That'll stop future um, issues but tranexamic acid will be your best bet. Uh, Sarah says, made it. Thank you. Yeah, I'm so glad. Everyone, it's, you're never too, you don't have to join from the start. You join whenever you can. Leave whenever you need to. This is just a great chance for us to all chat and nerd about skincare. And anything you miss is on replay. So it's like win, win, win. Leah says, uh, the Halio Care Mineral Tolerance Fluid is great for sensitive skin. Thank you so, so much, my love. I'm trying to pull together all of the recommendations for sensitive sunscreen so I can um, recommend them in a video later. So if you do have any recommendations, leave them in the comment section it's much appreciated dm13 danny i was so worried you might miss it so it's super late but you'll have to rewatch later danny i'm just so glad that you've joined my love i'm sending you so so much love and there we have it guys so we have i've missed some questions i didn't go around to everyone's questions so what i'll say is just leave it in the comment section below we're now going to move on to today's video which is live premiered so i can still chat with you all guys we can talk it through as um, we go through the video and we're taking a second look at some of my product fails are they still product fails or have i actually totally changed my impression on them and i'll move you all over to that soon thank you so so much for joining if you haven't already still not too late to click that like button you can minimize the chat and click the like button and subscribe if you haven't already and what we're going to do is move seamlessly over to today's video if i didn't get around to your question leave it in the comment section um, below i always go back after these video and answer everyone's questions so i promise 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 i'll get around to yours thank you once again for tom for moderating honestly doing a standout job as always. So thank you so much. And thank you everyone for joining. And I'll see you over on today's live premiere.